Hello guys, this is Kudo and today in this video I will show you how you can add event UI with dynamic function or static function by using unity event. So let's get into it. So first thing first, what we need to do is to create a UI, uh, for example, image. And uh, next thing we want to do, it's setting our canvas. So it's already on screen overlay. Let's say scale with screen size and let's put uh, 1920 by 1080 to be sure everything is working just fine. So after that, let's center this image. So you don't need to do, do, to do everything, but uh, everything that I do, but it's just for, uh, it's just an habit I got. So let's put some value on this uh, image and let's save this image. Second thing we want to do is to create a script. So let's go on the script function and let's create some script and let's call it maybe, for example, uh, UI uh, event uh, dynamic, dynamic, for example. And let's open it in Visual Studio. Okay, so after you just create your script, we need to import some uh, some library. So let's add uh, using, so using Unity engine, so Unity engine dot event systems. Let's add a un using, so using Unity engine dot event. And I think that will be it. Let's save this. And now let's create some Unity event. So basically, what is a Unity event? Uh, let me declare this and let me um, explain it to you just after. So let's serialize field and let's create a private. So private Unity event, Unity uh, event. And let's take this one and let's call uh, and let's uh, call it maybe uh, my unity event my unity event okay let's save this and now let's head back to unity so right now what i'm going to do is i will click on my image and i will add my script so my dynamic so ue event dynamic and right now as you can see you can have an event creating here. So basically this event is the same as if I did this. So let's click on image. It's basically the same as, um, let's put maybe event trigger. So event uh, trigger and I add a new event type. It's, it's kind of the same. It's not basically the same, but the ID behind this is, is very similar. But um, right now, the difference because between the event trigger and this one, this one is triggered by pointer enter, pointer exit, etc., etc., as we see in my other video. I will put a link below. And this one is not triggered by anything. If I create uh, some function, I can drag and drop some function. Nothing will happen if I did. I don't say to my script, I want this to be a uh, trigger. So how can we do that? So let's remove this and let's uh, remove this one too. Let's head back to Visual Studio. And as you can see, um, we just see during the Unity event by using event trigger, we can trigger the event by using uh, uh, on pointer down, on pointer trigger, etc., etc. So what I'm gonna do here, we will use uh, what we call interface. So let's create a I uh, begin drag handler and let's create a I uh, drag uh, handler. So um, right now, as you can see, I begin draggler and I drag handler, it's uh, highlighted in red because I didn't declare some function, but don't worry, I will explain it just after. So um, what I'm gonna do here by using I begin drag handler and I drag handler, I will use this uh, event to um, to trigger my Unity event. So let me explain how. 
So I will need to create, so if I put my mouse on it, I can see the correction. And let's uh, just implement the interface to this one and just do the same for the eye drag handler. So like this. And I don't need uh, this uh, line, so we can erase this. And I don't need I don't need this line. But because it's an interface, I need to declare those function those function. All right. So during this function, what I'm gonna do, I just want to do if so if if my Unity event so my Unity event is different so is different than null what i'm gonna do i just want to call my event so for calling this event i just want to use my unity event oops sorry my unity event dot invoke all right let's save this now what we want to do is we need to create another script so let's create uh, another script so let's create c sharp script and let's call it um, test uh, unity so u n e t uh, event dynamic dynamic all right dynamic and let's open it in visual studio all right, so if you open it to Visual Studio, let's create uh, another function. So let's put it public, uh, void, and let's call it uh, uh, my Unity event, for example, my Unity event. And in this function, let's put something very easy. Let's put debug uh, dot log uh, dot sorry dot log we are dragging we are dragging the mouse let's save this let's head back to unity let's create an empty game object and let's re and let's uh, uh, reset it and let's add his components so test uh, test unity even dynamic and what we want to do it's on this image we can like this as you can see my unity event i can add my unity event and let's drag and drop our game object and let's add our function public uh, my unity event so basically this uh, what I, what i did here is basically the same if I did that. So by using event trigger, so event trigger, and add a new trigger, and um, where is the drag, uh, begin drag, move the select, where is it? Drag, and basically this and this do exactly the same thing. But you can ask me, but why we don't use event trigger? and instead of using unity event i will tell you just after uh, so stay with me and i will show you the difference between this and this and how powerful the unity event can be used so let me remove this and let's save uh, my scene and let's hit play to see the magic happen and let's see the console okay so as you can see here when I click on the mouse and I hold my mouse and I drag my mouse, we got the debug showing. Like this, nothing impressive, but uh, you just, uh, in if I go back to my uh, code, you just create kind of Unity event by coding. I know I already show you how you can add an event trigger, but remember the title of the video is dynamic. So what I'm, uh, what I'm saying, so why it's dynamic? So let me show you something. So as you can see, when I type unity event, uh, let's create, for example, I will not create another one, but just if I retype private unity event, unity, uh, unity event, as you can see, you can add some parameter. And this is how you can see, sync 
dynamically. So what I'm going to do here, I just want to add to my Unity event a float. So let's create a float. And right now, as you can see, the invoke is not uh, happy. For, for his thick of happiness, let's put maybe 10, like this. So now let's head back to my other script, so test unity event. And instead of using a public vo void my unity event, let's add a parameter, let's add a float. Maybe float uh, something, maybe let's call it f, for example. And now let's head back to unity and let's see what's showing on unity uh, on the inspector. So like this. Let's add image, so like this say missing uh, argument, so it's normal. So let's add another one. And right now, as you can see, you got two, two possibility. You can add my unity event dynamic float or static parameter. What is the difference between those two? So basically, if I add um, my unity event float, this will ask me to add a float constant float, so maybe, for example, 10. So if I save this and I run my debug, so uh, I just forget to add in this uh, in this log debug.log, so f, for example, f. Let's save this and let's head back to Unity. If I click on play, If I click on play and see the console, like this, as you can see, the debug showing is always 10. Always, always, always 10. Now, if I head back to Visual Studio and uh, like this, even if I don't put 10 here, by the way, I can, I can show you. So let's create maybe another, uh, for example, um, a private float, so private, float and maybe let's call it uh, time for example and I want to add uh, maybe during the update function maybe I want to see the the time so time uh, plus equal time dot delta time and what I'm gonna invoke is time okay Let's save this. Let's head back to Unity. Again, I'm as you can see, I'm still on static. Again, I sh I'm, I'll show you it again. So test Unity even dynamic, and I choose um, static parameter. So basically, the 10 is not moving. It will always and always be 10. So let's create the console. Let's hit play. And as you can see again, if I if I'm moving because I'm using dragging again. As you can see, 10 is always, always, always showing. But what if now, instead of using static, I use my Unity event, but using dynamic. So let's click on it and let's see what's happened. First thing we'll notice, you don't have to put some parameter here. Again, if I use event trigger, I will show you again, event trigger, and I will add, for example, new type and maybe uh, the drag and I will add my function, uh, the same function, like this, so there it is, and I will add um, my function. As you can see, you only add the static parameter. You don't have the dynamic static, uh, you don't have the dynamic parameter. And this is, what what is the difference between the Unity event and event trigger? I think the Unity event is more powerful if you want to use something uh, nicer and maybe if you want to use something dynamic but the event trigger is very nice because you can use something very static and very um, very quick it's, it's depend how how you want to use it but for my part I like to use unity event it's it's nice to have it and it's nice to have everything under the control but basically it's up to you so as you can see here you don't have the static you only have the static parameter but you don't have the dynamic parameter. So let's uh, cancel this again. Cancel this, and let's see what's showing on the console if I use, like I say, dynamic parameter. So let's clear this. Let's save our uh, uh, inspector uh, scene, and let's hit play. 
so as you can see if I use dragging so sorry the console I think it's bugging as you can see the debug showing is not 10 but as you can see it's showing the um, the time dot delta time um, directly I mean uh, as you can see 20 exactly exactly uh, 22 20 uh, 24 etc etc so basically as the name saying is showing the um, during the runtime the change of our float so basically if I head back to uh, to my uh, to my uh, Visual Studio as you can see if time is changing with unity event this event so basically uh, this will return me the value of my float dynamically it means at the time I want this will be the value of my float maybe uh, 10 seconds later as you can see like like this the the float the float um, the float written by this event it's it's not the same value at all so uh, I hope I'm I'm making uh, thing clear and um, and yeah, so this is how you can use uh, un uh, Unity event. It's very nice and very powerful thing because maybe if you got uh, if you want to use uh, this Unity event, maybe for for score, for point, for coin, etc. on your game, and you want to know if uh, some player pick some some coin at this time, etc. etc. It's very nice to have this because again we've. Even trigger it's very powerful again, but you don't have the notion of the dynamic and here you can use both of them you can use as you wish dynamic float or static parameter so that's it guys for this tutorial hope you and en you enjoyed the video and learned something and I catch you in I catch you guys in the next video thanks for watching so if content equal equal to like or user learn something equal to true, user should thumb up plus subscribe. Else, user should dislike, but help me to improve. Thank you, and I catch you guys next time.